Hi guys, this is Michaela from Avery and Lana's Pet Blog. So nice to finally meet you. Today, Avery, the resident dog, will be here to um, review some pet products from Unleashed by Pet Cup. Let's get started. Okay. What's this? What's this? What's that? This is, for all of our human audience, um, a JW Holy Roller. I think the name is kind of cute. <laughs> Holy Roller. The great thing that I thought Avery would enjoy about the toy is that it's very light, so she can just bounce it around if she wants to. Another thing that I really like about this particular toy is that it's easy to carry. It's You know, you can travel with it. What I like about these for a dog like Avery is Avery really loves to jump and she likes to throw things, kind of like a cat. I wonder where she got that from. So it says here actually that it holds treats. So I'm gonna test it out. Oh, you can see she's interested already. Want it? She's a little overwhelmed. You know, maybe this toy isn't the best for treats um, just because it, it seems like, you know, you can really squish it as she takes it out of my hand. It just doesn't seem like the kind of toy that you would really use to house treats. It's more like these little holes here are for the teeth for them to come and grab and take and chew and pull and it's very flexible so I, I really like this toy and I think she'll really enjoy it um, when she's done eating her treat I'm sure she'll give it a nice sniff and play so let's move on to the next one what am I gonna pull out of the bag Okay, Puppy Bites brought to you by Wellness. Wellness is one of my favorite brands of all time for dogs, um, next to Buffalo, um, Blue Wilderness. So what I like about these is they're very healthy, they're for health conscious um, owners, and they just seem to have a really great response to these treats. I've been using them for training, so it means that you can give lots of them to your pet without um, having to worry about weight gain. So what I can tell you right off the bat is these have the best, like, I'm not sure what you call them, but like this, this sticky adhesive that closes the container. And that's really important when you have treats because they get stale after a while. So this is really nice, um, nice packaging. And also, I mean, props to their marketing. It's really colorful. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for these things. Like, I feel like they market just as much to humans as they do to dogs, if not a lot more so. Let's open these up and see how Avery enjoys them. See that? Ooh, nice sniff. You can see it's kind of a kind of a squarish, soft treat. I can kind of bend it with my fingers. You can see. All right, let's give one to her. Nice, gentle. So that was a hit. Ooh. Good girl. Yum, yum, nom, 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 nom. Oh, I just brought this one out of the bag and already it's getting lots of attention. Look at that. So guys, I have to show you this. This I, I just saw it at the store and I thought, this is me, very me. I don't know about you, but I love artichokes and it evidently Avery does too. It's called Orby Tough. <laughs> It's called Orby Tough Pro Produce. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> if I can get in here. So it's called Orby Tough Produce by Planet Dog. I'm excited about this toy. I also think it's really nice and if I can get in the shot, it's very squishy. There's a little opening at the bottom for your treats. So it's kind of like a, um, a puzzle toy in that sense. But it's also just kind of a chew toy if you if you give it a good look-see. Also cool about produce, about these produce toys, is there's lots of different fruits and vegetables that they offer, including raspberries, and I think the raspberries are really cute. They're also really little, so don't think that they all come in the same size. So, what I'm gonna do is take one of these, I already have this open, one of these Kong treats that I already bought from a previous purchase, and I am going to put the toy, or the treat, sorry, in the toy. But let's see if I can do it. Human tricks, people, human tricks. I think it's going. 
I just want to get it in in such a way that it will bounce around inside the toy. Oh, there we go. So you can hear it in there. Um, let's see how she likes it. <laughs> it seems a little big for her, honestly. She's a mini Aussie puppy, so this might be a bit ambitious for a little dog like Avery. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say this is more of a for me purchase, just because I will get joy out of seeing an artichoke laying around on the floor. This is a good human toy. The bento ball. Ooh. So I picked this one up from the store. Um, it just looked interesting to me. Um, it looks like it's durable, flexible. Really love the packaging. It shows you the back of the ball and the front of the bento ball. So um, let's open it up and see what's inside. It was something I kind of wanted to try with her because she's an Aussie and you know Aussies are supposed to be very good at um, puzzle games. So I've never really tried before, so this will be a good test um, for her. Another thing to mention is this came in a small package. The bento ball that I bought was small. However, there were different sizes, which is really cool and it makes it more accessible to other sizes of dogs, like a full-grown Aussie. Another really cool thing is this is dishwasher safe, so it makes it easier to clean and honestly I'm an advocate of cleaning dog toys. I also want to mention that the treat inside is wheat free and it's a dental treat made in the USA which is awesome because you don't always know what you're gonna get when it comes to other countries um, pr production like China or um, actually, I don't know any others but China that make dog treats that are not necessarily always the best. You can trust this brand, um, and I'm going to trust them with Avery, and she's my baby. So another thing I notice is this toy is very squishy and durable. I, I really kind of find that this kind of toy will engage her more than um, some of the harder, more tough material. Um, let's see how she likes it. Look at that. What's that? That's the bento ball for treats. There's some loud construction going on, so she's a little nervous. Show them your beautiful face. Oh, it's your beautiful face. Look at that beautiful face. The next treat I have um, is a legitimate treat. Um, and I laugh at myself for buying this, but it is what it is. Um, can you all see? It is a prairie dog bully stick, which means it is a penis. And I've heard that dogs really enjoy these. We're about to see exactly how much they love them. This one is uh, pretty interesting. I got it because it's odor free and I had actually watched a review about bully sticks in which the dog was going crazy over the bully stick. But the owner kept mentioning how bad it smelled and this one actually doesn't smell like anything. It's called Prairie Dog, the brand. 100% all natural dog chew. Easy to digest, supports dental health, and is made from grass-fed Brazilian cattle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having fun with it. What's this? What's that? We love. So we're trying it out. Oh, do you like it? Oh, it looks like the bully stick is a hit. Much love, much love. This dog is used to being kissed. Ah! So hey, thanks everybody. Thanks for following us on YouTube and for following us on Twitter and Instagram and subscribing to our newsletter on the blog, AveryAndLana.com. We'll come back next week. Thank you. Oh my god. Boop, 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 can't pause this. Cutie pie.